Welcome back, Pisces. I'm Brandy, if you're new to me. I am purposely doing love readings for uh, the mid-March to the end of March 2019. All right, I have not pre-laid these out today. I have not. Let's dive right into this. If you need more of a general reading, I'm going to be specific reading. My information is down below. Please feel free to contact me. Can you please give me a card for Pisces and let me know, man? From March, mid March to end of March 16. Give me a second. I've not delved into that one yet. So you got, she feels, she knows, and shock of the new. Okay? This could be for you or for the cross watcher for love and romance. So she feels and she knows her past love and experience has beaten her down where she thinks she knows some things. And, and it, you might because of all your past experiences. But something new is coming in. It's going to shock your world. It's going to shake your world up. And you're going to feel at odds with this because your intuition is off on it, right? This this person is something new. This experience is something new that you've just not, you've never had. And you've been so beaten down by past relationships and love and family and everything that this experience, this person is going to shake you up. It's going to awaken some things inside of you. It's going to be... It's going to be kind of uncomfortable and strange feeling at first, and you're not going to know what to do with it. But it's going to help you open up as a person. It's going to, it's going to shoot you. I don't know. For some reason, I picked up postcards I always do last, but it's telling me I need to do it now for you. I see something I can do this. From now until the end of March, please. I cannot take all those. I see something right there in Venus from now until the end of March 2019, please. A little more clarity on the situation. And it did. The key is on the front, which is intriguing me. God, that hurts. I'm so sorry. Dear you, going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap big rewards. Now's the time for you to act, to stir up some energy and put those plans into action. There are many windows of opportunity to open but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. Today, be confident that your hard work will pay off and you'll feel that manifest... Oh, sorry. I think it's supposed to be manifestation, but it's not. Satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out even better than you expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, however much you work you're willing to put in, we will match a tenfold our own. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win the game of life, so just do it. Loving you so, so much. I'm going to keep this out. I'm going to keep that out right there. This new experience, this new person, this new love interest is going to come in, and you just don't know how to handle them. They are good for you. That is your risk, all right? They're gonna teach you to be in the world and not 
not just participating. Okay? We're going to give you a new sense. You just got to learn how to roll with it. Like, you're so confused about this because you've been so beaten down. Shit. <laughs> then, love yourself pops out. Love yourself first because you can't be beaten and bruised up and move into something new. All right? You got to put in the work. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Oh my god, why? Why? <laughs> flying, they're flying. Playfulness and heart to heart, all right? I think you guys have some sense of being beat down and you you know you need to work on yourself to be able to attract or give to this person. That's why it feels so strange to you. To recapture the romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So you have someone that's shaking your world up that you have ran from because you think they're just going to abuse you like everyone else have because but this person is different. This person is different. You have major chemistry and passion with them. And you just feel so strange with it. Like it's something new and you're just, you don't know what to do. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy with it. And that's what's shaking your world up here. Okay. And it's saying the, the work that you put in is what you get back. So if you... You are already involved with this person. You were. You've ran from them. And that's okay. I've noticed that a lot with a lot of Pisces. And that's not stereotyping. That's past, present, or future. Okay? I please have one talk for Pisces. Something rides in the Venus and romance about this shakeup. Miss Sunshine. You've been stuck in the... You can't see it, it's too bright. Maybe. You've been stuck in the darkness of wondering about this. Like she feels, she knows. You think you feel and you think you know. You think you know how it's going to turn out and you don't. This new person, this new love, this new whatever. After you love yourself, you bring in abundance. Okay, you turn your back to the darkness and you look towards the sun. You finally get real illumination. You get shook up. But, like this card says, you can't sit into the moon in the darkness forever thinking that you know how this is going to pan out, because you don't. This is uncharted territory to you. And you may have ran from this person so you could fix yourself and get more clarity, and that's what Miss Sunshine is doing. She's finally figured that out, I just hope it's not too late for you. Because like this says, door shut quickly. If you ran from someone who, who gave you your, their love and you didn't communicate that, because it says you need to communicate, I hope the door hasn't shut for you. Alright? They are the music to the night for you. Okay, there's a music theme here. There's a night and a music theme. They are somehow, they help ease you to sleep at night with a melody. Like their melody is for you. I don't know who that's for. Okay. You feel stranded, but you need to know that you will always have a home no matter where you roam. Okay, and the person you're messing with or, or ran from or interested in, they're shaking your world up, they are a free spirit, okay? They heal people. You feel like no one can hear you or they feel like you can't, you, you can't hear them anymore because you're not talking. 
because you're so shook by this. But they hold the key to your heart. So you need to quit finding that. They are your melody. They are what recharges you for life. All right? Can you give me more clarity, please, for my Pisces? Mm. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Moon, Ten of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Tower. All right. You have went within yourself, and it's not tiptoeing around in the dark, okay? You are running in the dark. This is your spot. This is what you do, okay? The moon is your comfort zone. You see how she's free and running? She's not scared. She knows all these dark spots and what's in those corners under the moon. She doesn't, she doesn't need to turn the light on. She's running open and free towards this, this offer. It's like you've had an epiphany. Like you've come or you're coming out of like the hermit, the moon mode. All right, you've realized that this person is your melody. There is music and sunflowers in this card, okay? That's all I'm saying. I just think it's funny that I literally just went and got a sunflower today and that card come out. They are the singer to your instrument. They, they are your fulfillment, okay? You are running towards this new offer that you decided after you've been in this Ten of Wands you have this tower moment and realize that this is your union. This is what you want, but you've been in such inner conflict about such a shakeup that they caused to your life. You didn't know what to do with that. They are your 10 of pentacles. They are, you feel like now that they are worth the work. There is a lot of pentacles on this table and earth element though. You have the full, okay? You've decided you're going to take that new journey. You're going to have this lightheartedness towards it because you realize this person really isn't like the others. They're like no one that you've ever encountered. They're a gift to you. You learned, you took this time to, to figure out your addictions and what you wanted. You've come to terms that this person is not like the others. You've had this power moment. You've made this decision already. This two of swords here, she's already made her decision. She's stripped away everything. She knows what her decision is. She's got to figure out where to lay the other sword. Okay? There is no more decision. You're making it. And you're standing in it with clarity. You're taking the crown from the Queen of Swords and you're coming into it. With your manifesting. This is your this is your wish. This is what you have been wishing for all of your life with the chariot. You're going to move towards it. What is this card that is not? Maybe it'll come back around. Okay. This is your gift. It's taking you strength to figure this out over the tower. Alright, Pisces. Um I feel like this is where I need to end it for now. Good luck. You're running under that moon. You are within full clarity of who you want. And I'll catch you on the flip side, my love.